Hey, what's going on, city slickers? And oh, my cigarettes. Ladies first. Guys, I'm having a bad day, man. A bad, bad day. Jesus. Why does stuff have to happen to me, man? All right, let's get started, man. We got a lot to do. Last night, I caught a blowout. I caught a blowout last night um, with the family. She's sleeping in the front. My son's in the back. And um, catch a blowout. It felt like I thought a truck hit me or something. So the back was fishtailing. Um, this is on the Prius. So then I knew what it was, but I checked that tire. Um, I bought two, two new tires for the front two days ago. And um, that tire, before I got on the road, I checked it. All the other tires had 40 uh, PSI and the, you know, the tire pressure. So um, all the tires had 40 pounds. That tire had 31 pounds. And um, I don't know how I caught a blowout. That was crazy. So um, I, I couldn't do that with these rims on the van. These are custom rims, you know, chrome. So once you get a flat on these, you got to get a tow truck and you're still going to mess them up. But the Prius, I drove that rim off the highway like that and the whole tire was coming apart and um, started messing up my bumper. Oh, man. So uh, I drove it off the highway and I tried to see if there was a gas station around and I found a gas station parked it and caught a cab. I never caught a cab in a country. Wow, that's expensive, bro. Um, so now, this morning I wake up. I said, um, I have some work to do to the van, but <clears throat> I said, let me uh, use the van, of course, to go uh, get this tire off the Prius and go buy a tire. And then, uh, park the van and do my run around in the Prius. I just got here and I'm already hungry. I bought some kind of sauces they had in there, pause, like a, a chorizo or something like that, but it's not a chorizo. Here's a Colombian older woman. She said this is Colombian sausage. She makes Colombian food and Mexican food. So me, I had to throw a little mustard on it. All right, let's go to the prayers. Wait till y'all see this time. I just ate. Got the itis. But I know I got a lot of um, driving to do, trying to get this tire. And by the way, I don't know if I told you guys, I don't have a spare. That's why I had to leave the car here. If I had a spare, I would have took the car last night. But my mistake, I did it in both cars. I had my um my spare inside the vehicle and with the heat the tires blew up so i need a spare for the van and i need a spare for the bridge so don't do that guys don't put your tires in your car keep it where it belongs if it's under the car and you want to keep it under the car let's say if you catch a flat sometimes i'd rather have it in the trunk than under the car you know um i don't like it under the car then you gotta get under there and mess with that screw. Never know, you know. Um, so I like to have easy access. So I'll put it in the trunk or something like that. And yeah, but not inside the car because um, the heat, you know, the pressure, it was just explode. And that's what happened to both minds. All right, come on, man, I'm tired. I gotta do all this, man, it's too much. Jesus. Jacked up. What? Yo, I had to get off the highway, man. I just kept going. Jesus. Wow. Look at this tire. Don't know how I caught that blowout. Jesus. 
car. Let me get this off. Guys, the tire didn't want to come off. It didn't want to come off at first. So I just banged it on the top, banged it on the bottom, banged it on the sides, and little by little it came out. So remember, if you take off your lugs and it don't come out, bang it on the top, I got a hammer on me. So what I did was I put this like this and I hit the C-clamp instead of hitting the rim. So try to put something there like a piece of wood or something like this. Piece of wood would be better, but like a two by four. But I had this, so I just hit the hammer on the C-clamp instead of hitting the, the rim direct. So you put something over it try to preserve your rim jesus guys check it out i put the donut till i get back look my donut blew up while it was in the car remember i told you it exploded so this is my donut but i still got it jacked up but um it's on the jack but i still put the donut on never know so now when i come back just uh, take off these lugs, take off the donut, put the new tire back on. So let's go. Tire. Oh, kit. Kit came in handy today. I tell you, sometimes it's uh, worth to have a second car. Like a day like today. Look at this tire. Eso tan pedazo. something to eat. Oh, Jesus, a bee. I get an allergic reaction. I swell up. Oh, man. But now I got to go get a bumper. I'll do that this week. I'm not doing too much today. This car got me going crazy. But I got to work on both cars. The winter's here. And I see a few things with the van that needs to be done. Minor stuff. And then I ate the the thing for the front lights so the front lights don't come on i gotta get that fixed one lamp go get a bulb and that's it get the inspection the prius i need another tire because now i got three tires i need one more tire for the prius and oh the bumper that's it i went to check out the bumper they got it in yonkers this place called tick i think it's tip top yeah. Let me see how much he's gonna charge me for this. Remember, this is not Hunts Point or Jerome. Hunts Point and Jerome, you know, they work with you. Up here, you ain't got a choice. There's only like two places up here. So, um, you don't have much choice up there. Whatever it is, I, I gotta pay. I need my tire. I gotta go get the Prius. Get it out that gas station. I don't know how I'm going to get both cars back. I don't know how I'm going to do that. New tire. Professional. Look at that machine. I need this machine. That machine just open up a tire shop with that machine. He just um. I thought it was a piece that wasn't gonna catch. 
and he just kept putting it and it just popped open and locked. I'm wondering if this one is too big. Oh, I gotta go get my money. Uh, I think I'm not paying the five. Nah, nah. Let's try to stay at 70, right? What do you guys think? Now, if I was in the Bronx, 45, stuff like that. But up here, not bad. It's a nice tire. Wow, this is brand new. And this is used. I thought it was 60 or 70. We're talking 50. Not bad. 50. Not bad, buddy. Look at that. This is deep. You gotta look at this to make sure. See how high this is? It's not wore down. So there's a good tire. Don't buy. It's all right to get a used tire, but don't buy junk. I gotta look like this, decent. Yo, this is taking me all day. I had breakfast. I just found a place that had um some corned beef. I went and got some corned beef. Wow, this is stressful. I'm going through all of this because I didn't have a spare in my car. If I would have had a spare, it would have not cost me over $100. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I just spent over 100 bucks because I didn't have a spare in the car. I just seen something. It ripped something from the bumper. And it looks like I need like wire ties or something. So I want to see if I got wire ties in the van. All right, guys, I got to end this vlog. Did a little something, little Ricky Strode over here. Richie Cunningham work over here. I needed these wire ties because a piece fell from last night when the tire was going around. Oh, I forgot about this. Jesus. I'm taking that off. I'm taking this off. That's it. Getting off. All right. Now I can put the tire down. And put the tire on. All right. The tire is on. Oh, I forgot to tighten these a little more. Because uh, you can tighten them while it's in the air, but you can't tighten them that much. So now that I dropped it, let me tighten them a little more. All right, guys. I had a long day. Ties on. I gotta get uh, somebody to come um, drive the van for me. I think I'm gonna take off in the Prius now and come back and get the van. Jesus, what a day. Guys, if you like to donate to the channel, NY City Slickers. City Slicker with an S at the end. NY City Slickers on Cash App. Or if you like to send a money order or anything you like me to review, a product. Send it to my P.O. Box, P.O. Box 385, Bronx, New York, 10465. Love you guys. I'll see you later on. I want to go take a shower and eat and then come back and get this. And I got to go to the Bronx, too. I don't know if I'm going to go now. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I might just have to relax for today and I'll go tomorrow. All right, guys. Love you. See you in a little while. Peace. Green light. Shazam! All right, later.